THC, the human cost, is immeasurable at this point. The growing demand for marijuana products creating a black market across America that's outpacing the government's ability to protect people. The only thing that they care about is profit. And if you're in the way of the profit, they're coming after you. Just last week, prosecutors say a man murdered four workers at an illegal cannabis farm in Oklahoma after demanding payment for his alleged investment in the operation. And in the last year, authorities discovered 750 unregistered cannabis farms just in Los Angeles County alone. The solution is to legalize, regulate, and tax. Oregon Congressman Earl Blumenauer says the problem isn't states like his legalizing marijuana. It's the federal government refusing to act. Legalize now! What we are seeing across the country in terms of problems is totally a product of a dysfunctional federal policy. People who try to play by the rules are dramatically disadvantaged. They face higher costs. There's no effective regulation for the people who cheat. In fact, the incentives are for the black market. Currently, 21 states and Washington, D.C. have legalized recreational use of marijuana. Advocates say the product needs to be decriminalized nationally to prevent cartels from smuggling cannabis to buyers in states where it's still illegal. We need to move forward with comprehensive cannabis reform, and if they're able to, the black market issues will decline and the cartels will lose their advantage. Improved regulatory practices are also a must. There's no regulation. Not to say that it's only the illegal growers that aren't paying. The, Ill the legal growers also, there's several of those that aren't paying as well. We're still seeing, you know, abuses and things in those areas too. Officers in Oregon are working on creating more incentives for farm workers, hoping to combat labor exploitation. The law is very clear. If you're a victim of human trafficking, uh, the law is on your side. There are various protections that we can put in place uh, in order to uh, mitigate any type of uh, immigration concern that these victims would have. That includes visas for trafficking victims in exchange for cooperating with law enforcement officials against their captors. The best way that we can do it is support the workers, continue to educate the workers on their rights, and that we can help support them, like with wage claims or help them with um, temporary housing, whatever the, whatever the issues might be. Above all, Blumenauer says time is of the essence. The black market marijuana trade will continue to thrive on U.S. soil if the status quo remains. The demand continues. The need is greater than ever because of what you're documenting in terms of the illegal activities and forced labor, the environmental problems. If we were able to vote on this issue on the floor of the House and the Senate, well, the problem would be gone in a week. Que se cuelga de la gente, digo que si saquen bien sus papeles para que se puedan tra puedan trabajar en, un, en una parte mejor y no sea la mota. O sea, que hay veces que si quiero olvidar todo. ¿Pero puede? No. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.